everyone back to into today's video go have a look at the weather for the next 8 to 10 days in today's video it looks like it's going to be staying uh, quite unsettled really we'll get some drier weather particularly in the south at uh, times I think overall into an unsettled pattern now and I'm suspecting we probably have the best of this uh, summer really although I it may well uh, turn drier and warmer again as we get through towards the end of August into the start of September Early September actually is very often a consistently uh, warm and dry period, so uh, I think we will have more fine weather coming up, but I would suspect we probably have the hottest, uh, sunniest, driest conditions of the summer. Although you can never entirely rule it out, because in 1906 we, had, we got up to 35 Celsius, nearly well getting on for the mid-90s Fahrenheit. Uh, on the 2nd and 3rd of September uh, in 1906. So you can never really entirely rule things out with the British weather. It's always catching us out and surprises. us. But uh, certainly for the foreseeable future anyway, it does look pretty mixed. Have a look at all the charts in a moment. Before I get on with that, just to mention the advertising, there's video ads on pages at gaswebbins.com. Good hit play on video ads. You'll be helping to support gaswebbins.com. Basically, it's paying for me to sit and talk to you via website. It's a website. So you can do that. Thanks very much uh, for getting involved. Involved and doing that. So we're going to start off with the 500 millibar height anomaly flow charts as we always do for these 8 to 10 day uh, musing videos. We've got the uh, ECMDF here on the left, the GFS over on the right, 500 millibars, 80,000 feet. Here's an area in the atmosphere where weather is taking place, high pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream running above. These are the 8 to 10 day means, so it'll be taking us uh, 10 days away to something like the 21st, 22nd of August, so getting well into the second half of the month. And, well, we've got blue colours here on both the E-70F and the GFS around the British Isles. Jet stream is going something like that. Uh, so, essentially, we're under a trough of low pressure, uh, and we're on the cool side of the jet as well around that trough of low pressure. So, it's cool, it's unsettled, it's mixed. There will be some drier and finer conditions at times um but overall it is an unsettled looking signal notice as well uh, we've got all of this orange up here orange and red out in the atlantic and going up towards greenland that's northern blocking uh setting up around greenland that's quite unusual to get that this time of the year normally august into september is a period when uh, you don't get a lot of northern blocking it's actually starting to cool down quite too quickly over the Arctic and you start to generate uh, motion, you start to generate low pressure up around Greenland and up into the Arctic. We have got a little bit of low pressure right over the top of the pole uh, up there associated with those blue colours that start at the polar vortex beginning to form over the top of the Arctic. But it's quite unusual to get uh, high pressure setting up over Greenland at this time of year. It's normally something that happens earlier in the summer. So, uh, quite where that's going i'm not sure it could lead to some interesting patterns for september but anyway getting back to the next eight to ten days we've got the load pressure the trough is in there across the country so it looks pretty unsettled and pretty cool for the foreseeable future uh and of course the foreseeable future is the week to ten, uh, week to ten day period beyond that it all starts getting very speculative these are the gfs temperature and precipitation ensembles we're looking at uh, the ensemble for london first of all the thick red line here is the 30 year temperature average we're going to be solidly below average uh, for the rest of this week over the weekend into the start of next week we get a bit of a tick up in the temperatures they do lift up a bit but it's in association with the air becoming quite unstable uh, and it could turn unsettled although we do bring the rainfall spikes through here from around the 18th to the 21st of august associated with that instability with the temperatures lifting up it's not a washout for london but it's going to be much more unsettled to the north of the northwest and then once that's gone through the temperatures go solidly back below average Average again, although that's getting to the speculative part of the ensemble, and really we keep around the average then uh, going out towards um, towards the latter stages of the month. We go right up towards the end of the month with this ensemble uh, around the 28th of August. Notice we keep quite a few precipitation spikes going through to the end of the ensemble as well. I have been hopeful that we might generate a bit of high pressure uh, as we get through to the final week of September. Uh, 
final week of August into the start of September. Not really a great deal of sign of that on this ensemble at the moment. The Manchester ensemble is much, much wetter uh, for the weekend and on into the start of next week. Very, very wet there. Uh, if this is right, we're looking at some big, big rainfall totals for parts of northern and western UK. We have got to keep an eye on that. I did a video yesterday talking about the chance of some very wet conditions as we go through uh, the start of the, ne of the next week. That's still on. It looks more to the north and the northwest now, but somewhere I think could get very, very wet at the start of next week. But in terms of the temperature forecast, we're again solidly below the red line for the rest of this week, so we're solidly below the 30 year temperature average. We tick up a bit over the weekend and start of next week associated with all these precipitation spikes, and then we dip down below average again. It's not a great ensemble, that you have to say. And again, going out toward the latter part of the ensemble, there is no sign of uh, drier weather coming through for the final week of August. I have been hopeful, as I said, that we could generate some high pressure for the end of August, but there's no sign of it yet on this chart. If anything, it turns a little bit wetter, perhaps, as we get through towards that final week. That's the bank holiday weekend period as well. Uh, the temperature anomaly for uh, the next week shows that we're going to be below average, really. We're in those blue colours. Uh, so, temperature anomaly is coming out somewhere between 0 to 2 degrees below where they should be, between the 12th and the 20th of of August. The rainfall anomaly shows it's going to be wetter than average in the north and west, near normal further south, and even in the southeast, it could be a little bit drier than average. I think that's a bit uh, a bit wrong, I would suspect. Even in the southeast, it'll be uh, at the very least average, maybe even a little bit wetter than average, uh, to be honest. Let's have a look at the generic charts. They're not going to be great, but here we go for Sunday. We've got low pressure up to North Scotland. We're trying to build the high pressure from the Azores into the south. Uh, so I think the weekend may not not be too bad down in the south this low pressure will keep it showery up in the north and as we go through to the start of next week uh, well again we've got that trailing sort of weather front there that i was talking about in the video yesterday there's a front trailing through with ripples of heavy rain running a light going right down into the central part of the Atlantic. It's more base for Scotland, Northern and Ireland at the moment on this particular GFS run, but its position will go north and southwards uh, over the next few days as the model tries to firm up where that front is going to be. But anyway, it's a mixed looking scene. Notice how much northern blocking there is up over Greenland. The uh, orange colours are up there with 1,030 millibars. That's proper sort of high pressure northern blocking setting up to the uh, north of us that's never a great sign in the summer we generate an area of low pressure along that uh, wriggling weather front as we go through to Tuesday the 19th quite a deep low pressure developing there around ice and look how that explodes as we go through uh, into the middle of next week a very deep area of low pressure there at 995 millibars will be gales wrapped around that throwing up bouts of heavy rain across many parts of the country that could be a bit over the top I'm not sure it'll be quite that bad but it certainly looks unsettled uh, through most part of the country through the course of next week then as we get through to the end of next week this is day 10 probably 22nd we're pushing that, uh, that uh, trough over towards Scandinavia and opening the floodgates again uh, to the north and we've still got signs of plenty of ridging and blocking in the Atlantic the ECMWS shows the ridge of high pressure to the south of the country on Sunday the low pressure to the north so be more unsettled up to the north the south may get away with a reasonably dry and warm weekend as we go through to the start of next week we plunge the winds back into the north again on the ECMWF the ECM doesn't have that wriggling weather front that the GFS is uh, going for so uh, the rainfall potential with the ECM is not as bad as the GFS nevertheless it's unsound it's not great the low pressure is uh, in as a deep trough over Scandinavia for the isobars back they're going right to the uh, Arctic so it's going to be very cool as we go through to the start of next week on uh, this sort of scenario with showers particularly in the north and the northeast but we're not generating that at low pressure on that rippling weather that the GFS is seeing uh, which is quite important because that's quite a, a, a beast of the low pressure that eventually develops on the GFS by the middle of next week so it's basically just cool and showery uh, with the uh, ECM whereas the GFS is potentially a very very wet uh, and horrible so scenario for next week as we go through to day 10 this is Friday the 22nd of August there's no real change actually but high pressure is still out to the west of the country but low pressure is over Scandinavia winds are generally from the north it's cool and showery notice the northern blocking is a good deal less up over Greenland on the ECMWF 
as I say, Northern blocking at this time of year is quite unusual, so maybe the ECMWF is more sensible and the GFS solution is over the top, both with the Northern blocking and with the unsettled potential for next week. But we've got to take it seriously because the GFS is a decent model. And overall, even on the ECM uh, scenario, it's not a great outlook to be honest it's cool and showery it's just that the jet is, is pretty dire uh, for the middle of summer so not a great outlook uh we probably have the best of summer although you can't entirely rule out a very late uh, heat wave even up to the early and middle part of september but uh, we probably have the best that this summer has to offer that's it for now we'll be doing the five day forecast tomorrow so come back for that that's all for now and thanks for watching